well, we have an old redneck saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This was broke, I fixed it, and I'm gonna fix it again just to show you how. Here we have everything taken apart, and before we show you how I got there, just wanna clarify the purpose of the video is to get at the new 2DS XL logic board, which is this. And the way that we're going to do that is by using the Nintendo Tri-Wing Tip. This is labeled 2.0. I'm not sure if that's actually accurate, but this is kind of the special Nintendo screwdriver. There are gonna be four black screws that are in the back of the case that are gonna come out first. Before we even take apart the case, we're gonna take out the game and the stylus. Then we're gonna take out the two screws that hold the battery in place and the, the battery holder after getting a couple of ribbons out of the way. Then we're going to take out the two screws that hold in the um, kind of joystick directional pad mabob. Um, we're gonna take out another five screws around the board along with various ribbon cables. And we have the needle nose pliers to help get the speakers disconnected. We've got some sharp nose pliers, not sharp as in cut, but as in uh, thin so that they can get around things and they're bent. We've got some blunt tweezers. Did I say pliers? I meant tweezers. Anyway, um, and then some of the standard tools that you get in any kit to take apart electronics, a spudger, some guitar picks or other pliers. And with that, let's get started. First of all, anytime you're, uh, you're working on electronics, it's good to take off your jewelry uh, of any kind. Um, this, all Nintendos use uh, the tri-wing type screwdriver. So you'll see it, 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 a lot of them are marked with like a Y. I don't know if we can get the head to focus here, but you can see it's kind of three equal parts. So the four screws here, I might actually need to put this in the tripod. Give me just a second to do that. Those four gotta come out. And if you've got the right size, which should be, um, I'm not sure if it's actually a 2.0 or if it's a double zero, because uh, sometimes they do it both ways where a double zero is labeled as a 2.0. But anyway, if you just get the standard Nintendo repair kit, you'll get a couple of different sizes. And um, this one that I'm holding is the right one, obviously. You want to use as big of a screwdriver as you can all the time. And look, I got these nice little, I got this pad. I think this was less than 10 bucks. It's supposed to be anti-static, but it's, it's not always. But it's got these nice little places to hold your screws so you can remember where they were. Anyway, um, like I was saying, it's, you want to use the biggest screwdriver head that you can. Sometimes, even when the screws are really tiny, you'll find that the, the head you want to use is surprisingly large. Um, I don't think that's the case here, but just as a general FYI. Now, what you're going to need to be careful of in this next step is that right here, you've got a volume knob that actually, uh, the piece under there can break. In fact, it's broken in this one. Um, and you have, under both of these, you have wires for the speaker, and then you've got some ribbon cables connected there. So as you take this apart, keep that in mind. What you're gonna need to do is take, um, you can either use a guitar pick or a spudger, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna see if I can start with the guitar pick but you just want to find a place to wedge it in, get it kind of towards the corner. And I think the spudger is actually going to be better for, um, for doing this. Let's see if I can get this focused right on there so you can see how I'm doing it. You know what? Dummy me. Huh. So there's the pin right here. We need to take that out first. Duh. We also need to open up this. Um, pull it all the way out. So we got the pin out, take the flap all the way out. Okay, I think, I think that's all we need to worry about right now. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so get this in here. You wanna pull it up, and you're not trying to pop it out yet. You're just trying to get it a little more open. So now I'm gonna stick the uh, guitar pick in there to kind of hold it and then I'm going to come at it from the other side and pull it up a little bit more so what I want to do there's a there's a place where the screw goes that you should be able to lift up enough for it to get in there there we go 
Okay, so now I can wedge it open more, and that's where one of the, the screws goes. So I'm just holding it open right there. Now, um, this right here, that headphone jack, is gonna cause you some trouble. So you wanna try to pull around it. So I'm just gonna see if I can slide here. And we're just gonna be really careful, do it one piece at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself. Um, we don't have to worry about this, that button is recessed. Let me move this back through again. There we go. It's starting to pop up. Oh, let me zoom back out a little so we get the whole view here. Sorry about that. Okay, so I was just moving it along and then pushing a little, moving a little, pushing a little. All right. And then we get to the point where, oh, that came out pretty easy. What I had to do before was actually put this underneath as well and then kind of continue along. And you do want the display to be open about halfway like this, just like when you're playing the game. That's going to put the, the least amount of stress on this. Oh, also, I should have taken the game out that was in there. Um, you're going to want to be really careful. Oh. Let's see, yeah. So on this one, there's no speaker wire over there because when it was given to me, it was already busted and that's one of the things I'm actually gonna try to fix the second go around. But you see right here, there's a speaker wire. Now, I've got a pair of needle nose pliers and you need them really small and you don't want to put too much pressure, but just try to wiggle it back and forth a little. And one of the reasons you don't want to put too much pressure is you're gonna inevitably your pliers are going to slide off and you're going to clamp down on these wires right here. In fact, I'm going to turn it upside down. So you want to try to give it not too much pressure and just kind of walk it out. Just get that on there. Just a little gentle back and forth and try it in all directions. There we go, now I've got a pretty good grip on it and I'm just walking it slowly. And there we go, came out without any problems. So no rippage. Now the next thing that we've got to be concerned about, I'm actually gonna close the screen and tilt this back. We've got this ribbon cable right here. It's gonna be easiest to get to if we actually just pull this way. You can see now it's exposed, all right, and we can see the, uh, the volume piece fell out while we were doing that. Now, I'm gonna flip this around so I can see it better here. And I'm just gonna use my fingernail. If you don't have a fingernail, you can try using the spudger. In fact, I'll try using the spudger just so, um, so we can be on the same playing field here. So, it takes a little bit of pressure, but you just kind of want to, you know, be gradual about it. And then you can pull this right off. Now, none of this is needed in order for this thing to boot. So you don't need the camera, which is what this piece is, and you don't need the speakers in order for this to boot. And you can see I've got this one taped down because I'm going I'm to try to repair that. In fact, I got the little piece over in this corner up here, and I, uh, I soldered it once. I think I'll be able to solder it again. That wasn't my breaking, that was, I think it was that way when I got it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the battery. Whoops, be careful there. Um, let's see. There we go, you wanna try to get it towards the back so it'll pop out, and I think that, uh, that piece over here was moving a little bit more than it ought to. I'm wondering if, uh... no, looks like all the screws were in there and everything. Okay, so we're gonna put the battery off to the side for now, out of the way. And we need to get this logic board off. So there's a couple different ways to attack this. 
What I'm going to suggest is first we just pop off this uh, Wi-Fi antenna. That's Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. They actually run on similar frequencies, 2.4 gigahertz, so there's only one antenna for them in this. All right, I'm just using the spudger to get out. Let's see if we can zoom in for you. So there's little notches where this thing is in. Um, the one where you push down comes out pretty easy. This one you gotta pull up feels a little uncomfortable to do it. It's always scary working with these small things. But just get right as close to it as you can and then knock it out. Same over here. Okay, now we've got that out of the way and we can take the rest of this plastic battery compartment off. So the battery compartment has, let's see, uh, we're gonna need, where's my other screwdriver? Ah, here we are. So this is a triple zero Phillips head and that's what I found to be the right size for these so there's one right here and then there's another one right here and there might I don't remember if there was a third one I think those just those two so this should be pretty easy to take out let me just spin this around so you can see there okay and I'm gonna go put this in a a different square on my pad with all the screws. Now the, there's three different sizes of screws. There's the black screws, the goldish screws, and the silverish screws. The silverish screws are really long. We'll get to those in a minute. But if you if you get the gold the goldish looking screws mixed up, um, it's not too much to worry about. Oh, let's see if we can. There you go. But I'm going to keep them in the same place just the same. So now this is almost ready to come off. It also needs a little love because it's clipped in right here. So I'm just going to tilt it up and use my spudger. Where'd that go? Give it a little push. Comes right out. Okay, so hopefully you saw that. I just gave it a little push right here, popped right out. Okay, I'm gonna put that aside over by the battery. Now, there's a number of these ribbon cables. You wanna be careful with all of them. Um, especially, most of these are, are what in the old days we used to call zero insertion force. So there's like a little clasp like, let's take this one right up here. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you. Or bring it up a little closer. So there's a little clasp. You can get it with your fingernail or with a spudger tool. Put it right underneath. And that one just popped open no problem whatsoever. Let's go try this one over here. And the colors alternate. So with this one, the clasp is actually black. So, you know, get under there. Not a problem. Um, and then this one over here, the top one is easy enough. Wait, let me see. Oh, no, 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 no. That's one of the special ones. Okay. This one up top in the middle pops open easy enough. So let me just go ahead and remove these. Make sure that's open. Yes, it is. Good. All right, pop that out. Same thing here, pop this out. Um, all right, we've got this, we got some power going up to the screen over here. I just try to wiggle that on both sides, it'll come out. Um, let's see, did we get this one? That black one there. And this one is actually a little bit easier if you open up the screen because it gives it a little bit more slack. And then I'm going to use, you got to be careful with sharp tweezers, but I've got some sharp tweezers. I'm just going to put it gently under there. And then that comes out. And then what we have left are 
not zero insertion force. They don't have latches. These have, I guess, minimal insertion force. But I found my, uh, my flat tweezers to be really good for these. So this, just these three, uh, this one here, this one here, and this one here. These ones, you pull straight. If you try to unlatch them, you'll break them. And then uh, I have not yet been successful with repairing one that's been broken. So I recommend trying not to do that. But get them with the flat tweezers, light pressure, pull back, should come right out. And then we're gonna have to give the same light pressure to put them in. Now this one here, um, that actually might have a lift on it. I'm, I'm gonna say we need to unscrew it first to double check, because I wanna pull on it and rip it. And I don't remember off the top of my head. Okay, so these are the silver screws I was talking about. So, so far we've taken out four black screws, two gold screws. Now we've got two silver screws coming out. And this is the primary control pad. And these are long. Hold that in there. All right, so then let's pull this out if we can. Okay, it's gonna have a little bit of a stick to it because that right there is sticking in that right there. Something just fell into my lap. It was just the guitar pick, we're good. Okay, so now we can take a look at this. I'm gonna fold the screen back over now that we're uh, done with that one cable that we needed a little slack to get out. Let's see if I can get this up to you. And uh, we're looking for that right there. Okay. So this one actually does have a little latch to it. So it's a good thing I didn't pull it out. And then voila, comes out just like that. I'm gonna set that aside over by the battery. So now what we have is there's a couple of screws to take out. I think there's a total of uh, four more screws. We've got one here, one here. These two are the ones that go to the little C-stick. These are connected all the way through to that. Okay, we've got another one here. I think that's just connected to the board. But anyway, let's give those a count, one. Two, three, four. Now the C stick is loose, and the C stick has a ribbon cable right behind this. In any case, we've almost got the logic board out. You gotta be really careful, though, because, oh, no, the D-pad one was over here, so it was one of those screws that I didn't put back in, one of those two holes right there. So there was two here, one there, one there, and one there. So there were five. Okay. So you wanna you wanna bend this. Uh, let's see where. So here's the game cartridge. You wanna actually bend this backwards. Um, oh, okay. That that is since we unscrewed it, that's gonna be easy to get off. So all we need to do is use a fingernail or a spudger. I'm always losing track of my spudger. Um, we flip this little guy. Am I flipping the right side? Oh wait, no, it's the black one on this one. It's the black side we're flipping. Okay, and then that comes right out. I'm gonna put that to the side. So that's the full tear down, getting the logic board out. Um, things that are likely to break these are not on there super well. These are for the speakers. So you can see on the other side, um, there's the solder joints for it. But the actual mabob is missing, and I'm going to try to do a little magic to get that back on. Um, and then, aside from the ribbons, the other thing that you want to watch out for is the volume. So I'm going to probably... Uh, cut this now and then 
will go back through the assembly because there's a different set of challenges putting it back together than taking it apart. Well, you've reached the end of the video, which tells me one of two things. Either you love the sound of my voice and it helps you fall asleep at night, or you liked it. Otherwise, you shouldn't watch to the end of a video that you don't like. And not that I'm trying to tell you how to live your life, but if you like the things you like, you get more of what you like. In any case, feel free to troll me in the comments below. Check out the description. There's probably related videos. This video might even be part of a set, in which case the playlist link will be there. And if you're interested in more stuff that's somewhere in this realm between soldering and JavaScript, that's what the subscribe button's for. Or so I've been told. Send positive vibes, karma, uh, feedback, suggestions for improvement are all welcome. Thank you. doing stuff with the things.